face shield, face mask, isolation facilities, new normal, communication quarantine classifications, alert levels, work from home, self-learning modules, alcohol and sanitizers, antigen tests, RT-PCR. Words associated with the COVID-19 global pandemic that are often used in this current situation. This made us worried and frightened every time we hear, watch, or read such. This is our new living condition. We can prevent the spread of coronavirus through our simple means. Number one, wash your hands often. Number two, always wear a face mask. Number three, never cough without a handkerchief or tissue. Number four, always observe and practice social distancing. And finally, clean and disinfect frequently. Aside from this, we can prevent the virus from transmission and we will be able to be immunized to vaccination or immunization. According to World Health Organization, immunization is a global health and development success story, saving millions of lives every year. Vaccine reduces risks of getting disease by working with your body's natural defenses to build protection. When you get the vaccine, your immune system responds. Did you know that the basis for vaccination began in 1796 when the English doctor Edward Jenner noticed that milkmaids who had carried cowpox were protected from smallpox? Jenner also knew about the formulation and guessed that exposure to cowpox would be used to protect against smallpox. To test his theory, Dr. Jenner took material from a cowpox sore on milkmaid's hand and inoculated it into the arm of a nine-year-old boy. Months later, Jenner exposed the boy several times to variola virus, but never developed smallpox. One of the first methods for controlling smallpox was variolation, a process named after the virus that causes smallpox. During variolation, people who had never had were exposed to materials from smallpox source by scratching the material into their arm or inhaling it to Up to date, vaccination became widely accepted and gradually replaced the practice of variolation. At some point in the 1800s, the virus used to make the smallpox vaccine change from cowpox to vaccinia virus. The word comes from the Latin word vaca in cow. According to the Department of Health, Vaccines mimic the virus or bacteria that causes disease and triggers the body's creation of antibodies. These antibodies will provide protection once a person is infected with the actual disease, causing virus or bacteria. The possible side effects of a vaccine include pain, redness, itchiness, or swelling at the injection site, which may last a few hours, fever, feeling of weakness or fatigue, headache, dizziness, diarrhea, or nausea. Consult the nearest healthcare professional if you experience any of these. With the steps and observance of minimum public health standards, vaccination is an important way to protect yourself from getting severe COVID-19. In this challenging time in which we are interconnected with one another, Safety precautions and observance of the standard set by the Interagency Task Force is very important. And for us to be more protected with the threat, vaccination must be considered and strengthened. It is the new version of our passport for our safety and healthy well-being. Remember that the virus spreads fake from person to person. And also remember that you can help and spread the virus even if you don't have symptoms. Keep following the guidelines and health protocols public experts because at the end of the day they have to protect you your family friends and neighbors from getting virus <laughs>